So my group to this point has been the luckiest group I've had in Iceland. We've just had fantastic weather the whole time, or as good as you can have really in January. But this morning we're in Hofen and we were hoping to photograph Vesterhorn Mountain and the weather's so bad you can't see it. So um, we're gonna game plan and maybe go sit and wait it out, but it looks like our luck has changed finally. Okay, sorry as usual about the wind, but we're here at Vesterhorn and it's a little bit windy, but the rains have let off and there's some fog hanging on the peaks. I don't know how long that'll last, but right now it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna try to get some pictures. shooting pictures that I totally forgot the vlog. This is the problem of uh, having a workshop. Not only is it harder to vlog because there's a lot of people around, but it's harder to vlog because you get distracted by the fun you're having with everybody. And we just have such a good group here in Iceland. And it's been so much fun. The conditions weren't perfect. Uh, definitely not perfect. There's still lots of cloud. It was getting hammered by uh, rain and mist on the filters and lens all the time. The tide's a little bit too low, so you couldn't, it was hard to get water in the foreground and really good reflections. It's too windy to get good reflections. But I do think we still got a couple good photos and I definitely know that we had some fun. Uh, yeah, the luckiest group I've ever had in Iceland. Cause every time we leave, I'm a long back, back to the place where the lights go down. Just you and I leaving. We're gonna head back towards Vic and hopefully stop at Diamond Beach along the way. Made it back to Diamond Beach, but the weather is terrible. Uh, it's raining, so I think we're gonna push on back to Vic. I said the group's the luckiest in the world. We've been pounded by rain the whole drive, and now there's the sun setting right behind the stacks in Vic and there's the potential that this is going to be awesome. I'm going to shut up now and run down to the beach and try to get some shots.
So I'm not sure this is working because we're kind of panicked, but what I'm doing is really long lens, about 250 millimeters. And then I've just got a simple shot of the C stacks, focusing on the C stacks themselves. And I've got a half a second exposure at F16 with a reverse grad ND filter on. And I'm just trying to get a little bit of motion in this water, not too much. I don't want to smooth out the waves too much, but just a little bit of motion. And it's a, uh, yeah, pretty phenomenal moment. So I kind of got one dimensional today in that I had a shot in mind that I wanted to take and I was just shooting it over and over and over again. And then there was a point I went, I need to, you know, expand my horizons with this shot and develop more of a photo. And I walked down to the beach a little bit farther and found this rock for the foreground. But by the time I got set up on it, the light just disappeared on me. So I guess it's kind of a, a lesson. Unless you absolutely love a photo, take it and then move. If you absolutely love a photo, stay on it, sit on it, wait on it, get it right. But if you're like okay with the photo, take it, then move. And I made that mistake and I'm kicking myself now because the lights just totally, totally died. And I, I got, I'll show you what I took. But it's not what I wanted to, but yeah. Sometimes that happens. I'll say it again, the luckiest photography workshop in Iceland right here. It was pouring rain, then at sunrise it let up and let us shoot. Then it poured rain all day and the whole drive here. As soon as we got here, it lit up. And then as soon as sunset happened, we're back in the rain. So. Yeah, I can't even believe this happened. It's just been incredible how lucky we've been. And uh, I guess it's time to head home for the night. Okay, we're back. Another incredible day in Iceland. I cannot tell you how lucky this group has been. It's just been, I, I don't know how to explain it. The weather's been pretty bad all day, every day, just raining and snowing and stuff like that. And then every time we go out to shoot, it clears up. It's just insane. Anyways, as I mentioned, we're back. You just saw some clips of us doing some one-on-one -on -one stuff. So you see all the fun stuff, the shooting out in the field, but there is lots of educational stuff that happens on the trips, either just before shooting or there's a couple one-on-ones and stuff like that. And so there is that stuff. I should also jump now to contest time because it is day six or seven, I believe, of 10 days of giveaways. And this time, my friends over at Trover are giving away a $100 travel voucher. So you can use that on flights or you can use it on hotels, I think. You can use it on a bunch of travel related things. And yeah, 500 bucks for your travels. The way this contest works is over on Trover.com. So you head over to Trover.com, you upload a new image, and that's one of the rules. It has to be a new image, new upload. You can't just like, 
tag all these old images. It has to be new. You upload your image and then in your caption, include the hashtag, hashtag BVS100K. And then I'll go through the images at some point and pick out a favorite image and that person will win the $500 travel voucher. And that's it, I think. Hopefully there'll be another video tomorrow. We're heading towards the Philippines eventually. So there might be sporadic uploads due to connectivity and flight issues. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll see you there. Peace.